to Movie Lover News, the number one movie news show on earth. I'm your host, Tyron Rubin, doing the show with Alex. There was a very interesting second trailer released for the film Battle Los Angeles, otherwise titled World Invasion Battle LA. It's been released on the 11th of March. Battle Los Angeles revolves around a Marine Staff Sergeant played by Aaron Eckhart and his new platoons battle against an alien invasion on the streets of Los Angeles. Battle Los Angeles is based on famous historical UFO sightings and events such as the 1942 LA incident where an unidentified aircraft entered the military airspace and was subject to artillery fire. The Battle of Los Angeles, also known as the Great Los Angeles Air Raid, is the name given by contemporary sources to the rumored enemy attacks and subsequent anti-aircraft artillery barrage which took place from late February 24th to early February 25th, 1942 over Los Angeles, California. The incident occurred less than three months after America's entry into World War II as a result of the Japanese Imperial Navy's attack on Pearl Harbor. Initially the target of the aerial barrage was thought to be an attacking force from Japan, but speaking at a press conference shortly afterwards, Secretary of the Navy Frank Knox called the incident a false alarm. Newspapers at the time published a number of sensational reports and speculations of this cover-up. A small number of UFO experts have suggested that the targets were extraterrestrial spacecrafts. The director of this film, Battle LA, Battle Los Angeles or World Invasion, whatever it's going to be called, is a South African filmmaker called Jonathan Liebesman. He directed a film called Darkness Falls in 2003. He directed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning in 2006, as well as a film called The Killing Room in 2009. And he's set to direct the sequel to Clash Over the Titans called Wrath of the Titans. It's been written, Battle LA, by Christopher Bertolini. And it stars Aaron Eckhart as Marine Staff Sergeant, Michelle Rodriguez as Technical Sergeant Adrian Santos from the U.S. Air Force, Bridget Monaghan as a veterinarian, and Michael Penner as the father of a boy the Marines find along the way. The cinematographer of Battle LA or World Invasion Battle LA, whatever this film's going to be called, is Lucas Etlin. He shot Jonathan Liebesman's first short film in 2000 called Genesis and Catastrophe. He shot Jonathan Liebesman's follow-up short film called Rings in 2005 and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning and The Killing Room. So he's collaborated with Jonathan Liebesman and the reason I'm also speaking about the cinematographer's credits is because I felt that the film was really, really interestingly shot and he's also uh, the cinematographer for a film that I've done a little show on called The Lincoln Lawyer, which is due out on the 18th of March 2011. And that also looks interestingly shot. The score for the film is by Brian Tyler, who's done many action film scores, The Expendables, Law Abiding Citizens of Recent, and Fast and Furious, Eagle Eye. The effects really, really looked interesting to me and really well done. And I looked up who were involved in the special effects because what happens with big special effects budgeted films nowadays, it's, it gets handled by many special effects houses. One of the special effects houses, CineSight, are recently doing the special effects for X-Men First Class, John Carter of Mars, as well as a production company called Luma Pictures who are also working on X-Men First Class, Thor and the Green Hornets. And Delving into the special effects on this film, I saw that there's controversy behind this film. Two visual effects designers on this film, Battle LA, Colin and Greg Strauss, were the directors of Skyline, which was released on the 12th of November this year, and had a production budget of $10 million. And so far it's grossed $46 million. They're very, very experienced special effects artists. The Strauss brothers, they've also recently worked on Gulliver's Travel, Jonah Hex and Avatar. But the controversy is that Sony, who's the studio behind this big hundred million dollar film, Battle Los Angeles, have sent a letter to Hydraulics saying that there's some conflict of interest because what Sony is saying, from what I've picked up, the Strauss brothers, who are the directors of Skyline, have used some of their effects technology on what they learned on Battle Los Angeles 
on Skyline and they've even been said to have used some of the equipment on their film Skyline so there's a little bit of a problem there. The Strauss brothers said that they've been in the alien invasion business for many years before Battle Los Angeles. They directed a film called Alien vs Predator Requiem and that's one of the reasons they said that Sony came to them to help with the computer generated aliens. Sony believes that hydraulics concealed the competitive nature of their project from Battle Los Angeles producers and the studio is investigating the extent to which hydraulics worked on Sony's big budget film. The Strauss brothers again said that they were inspired by a film Paranormal Activity and they were frustrated with the studio's process and they thought that they could definitely shoot a movie in their own house, their own production company and that's what they did. So I don't know what the outcome is going to be but it's a very interesting story for me to see the link between the special effects that the Strauss brothers did on Skyline with Battle Los Angeles. I don't think it makes any difference to the audience. The audience I think are going to love Battle Los Angeles. It was a huge hit at Comic Con this year and the release date for Battle Los Angeles is the 11th of March. On my personal excitement meter, because the director Jonathan Lieberman is South African and the other South African director Neil Blomkamp also did an alien type film, District 9. I'm very excited about this. It's high on my personal excitement meter, around about an eight and a half. The effects look great. It looks like it's shot in a reality based type way. It looks very exciting. A much more serious District 9 and hopefully it'll be successful for Jonathan Liebesman and he can carry on making great films. Thank you for watching the show on Battle Los Angeles or otherwise titled World Invasion Battle LA. I'm your host Tyron Rubin doing the show with Alex. Thank you for watching Movie Lover News.